Hi, and welcome to Yarnspirations.com. What could be cuter than this crochet baby jacket set with a very simple to stitch jacket that comes in sizes from newborn to six to 12 months and a little matching hat in half double crochet with these adorable little ears on it. And not only is this a quick baby gift to crochet and give to the baby that you love, it's also a really terrific introduction to raglan shaping if you're new to garment construction. So to get started, all we need is one ball of baby pink Bernat Baby Sport. We need a crochet hook size G6 or four millimeter or the size needed to obtain gauge and a button and this fabulous pattern. So we have the pattern right here and it is in three pages. So the first page is text. The second page is text and the third page shows you the schematics to make sure that you get the size you want for the size that you're going to make. So let me get my hook out and let's get started on the jacket. Now the pattern comes in three sizes to fit newborn, three months, or six to 12 months. One of the things I love about Yarnspiration's patterns is that they're color coded. So if you know that you are making say the six to 12 month size and the numbers that you need are in green, then as you're following along in the pattern, all you need to do is look for the green numbers. Now, if there is a number that affects all three sizes, that will be in black. Now I'm going to go ahead and make the newborn size on camera so I can go along quick enough that we can get to all the techniques I want to show you. And it says the cardigan is worked in one piece from the neck edge down and that chain three, the beginning of a row or round counts as a double crochet. So now that we have those two pieces of information, let's get started. Beginning at the neck edge, chain 46, which I have already done. And then it says one double crochet in fourth chain from hook. Now I like to work in the back or the bump of the chain and you can work in the front if you like, but I always recommend that you work in the back or the bump. It gives a much neater finish and I find it easier to count. So let's go in the fourth chain from hook. So we're going to one, two, three. We're gonna double crochet in the fourth chain from hook. Remember, I tension my yarn a little differently than some of you might, and that's okay. I will do it my way, and you will do it your way, and everything will be fine. The next instruction says double crochet in each of the next five. Double crochet, one, two, three, four, five. Then it says double crochet, chain one, double crochet, V-stitch made in next chain. So that's double crochet, chain one, double crochet in that same spot. All right, so you see we have our V stitch right in here. Double crochet in each of next six chain. One, two, three, four, five, six, V-stitch in next chain. So remember the V-stitch is double crochet, chain one, double crochet. Now, one double crochet in each of next 14 chains.
Okay, this should be 14. Let me just double count, make sure I'm correct before we move on. There's my last V stitch that I made. So it's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Excellent. V stitch in the next chain. Double crochet, chain one, double crochet. Double crochet in each of the next six. One, oops, let's try that again. Two, three, four, five, six, V stitch in next chain, double crochet, chain one, double crochet, double crochet in each of last seven chain. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven. Isn't it very satisfying to get to the end of a long chain and have it all come out even the way you think it should? I'm always concerned that I have chained one too many or too few. I find it very satisfying when it comes out even. So that is the end of the first row. Now, what's going to happen is this little bit before the first V stitch is going to be the left front. Then this area between the V stitches is the first sleeve. And then this wide section is the back. Then we have another sleeve. And then we have the right front. So we are all set up to keep going. Let's take a look at the second row. We've turned the work at the end of the first row and now we're going to chain three. One, two, three. Double crochet in each double crochet to chain one space of the next V stitch. So since our chain three counts as a double crochet, we're gonna skip that very first one. We've already got a stitch in there. So we don't have to count. We're just going to double crochet across until we come to the first V stitch. And we can tell where the V stitch is because that will be where the chain one space is. See, there's the chain one space, so I'm going to keep going till I come right up to it. Now I'm going to put a V stitch in the chain one space of that V stitch. And remember, a V stitch is double crochet, chain one, double crochet. Now it says repeat from star or asterisk three times more and double crochet in each double crochet till end of row. And then we're going to repeat this same row until we've completed six or eight rows, depending on what size you're going to make. So I'm going to double across till the next V stitch, and it won't be too many stitches because this is the sleeve part right here. Whoops, there we go. But what's lovely about this is once you've got the raglan established, there's really no counting. You don't have to sit and count every stitch of every row because if it's a double, you're going to put a double in it. And if it's a chain one space, you're going to put a V stitch in it, at least at the beginning. Okay. Where's my chain one space is over here. So I want to make sure I get a double in that first half of the V. There's my V, so double crochet chain one, 
double crochet and then double crochet across to the next one. We're cruising along the back. Let's. I want to take a look at that edging. This is what I was talking about when I crocheted my first row into the back or bump of the chain instead of the front. It gives you a neater edging, I think, that looks like the top of the stitch. It mirrors the top of the stitch. It's easier to work into if you have to work into this for trimming or if uh, you're working a different project and you're going to seam it onto something else. And it has a little more elasticity than working into the front. But once again, if you are used to working in the front and that's how you want to make this sweater, that'll work too. Okay, we're coming up on our third V-stitch. And there it is, there's our chain one space. So double crochet, chain one, double crochet. Going to work across the second sleeve. It's over there, so I have two more doubles to do. Okay, there's that last V stitch, so double crochet, chain one, double crochet, double crochet in each double crochet to the end. Now when we come up to the end of the row, you need to remember that that chain three at the beginning of every row counts as a double crochet. So when I come up to the end and I have that chain three left, I'm going to go ahead and put a double crochet in there, right? Because that chain three counts so that my last double crochet of the row has to go in there. So all we have to do now for rows three through six or three through eight, depending on what size you're making, is repeat the same row. So turn the work, chain three, double crochet in each double crochet to the chain one space, and put a V-stitch in the chain one space and do that all the way across. Let's take a look at the sample real quick. So you can see on the finished sample how the V-stitches line up one in the next, one in the next, one in the next until we separate the sleeves from the body. So I'm going to go ahead and put a few more rows on my sample and then I'll come back and we'll take a look how to separate the sleeves from the body. Alright, I have finished my six rows and since I'm making the newborn size I'm moving on to divide sleeves and body. Next row which is a right side row, chain three, one, two, three, double crochet in each of next 12 or 15, depending on the size, double crochet. So once again, our chain three counts as a double, so we're going to double crochet in each of the next 12. Let's 
six. And that should bring us right up to the first chain one space. And it does. Okay. Oops, more yarn here. So we're at the first chain one space. So the next instruction says double crochet in the chain one space of the next V-stitch. So right in there is a double crochet. Chain six, one, two, three, four, five, six. And this is gonna be the underarm. This chain is going to go right into the underarm. Skip next 18 in my size, 24 in the bigger size is double crochet for sleeve. So all of these stitches between the V stitches, that should be 18 or 24, depending on what size you made. So we're going to skip them. We can count if you want, but I know that it's between the two. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. So I finished my chain six and I'm going to double crochet in the next V-stitch. Okay, now it might look a little wonky, but what's gonna happen is this is going to be the sleeve, and this is going to be the body. So now, the next instruction says, double crochet in each of next 26 or 32, double crochets. and double crochet in the chain one space of the next V-stitch. So again, I can certainly count to make sure that I have the number of stitches that the pattern says I should have, but I also know that I'm just going across until I hit the next chain one space. And 26 should be the number of stitches I have in between those two chain one spaces. Okay, we're getting there. <laughs> okay, coming up on that chain one space. We're going to do the same thing for this second sleeve that we did for the first sleeve. We're going to double crochet in the chain one space. Chain six, one, two, three, four, five, six. Skip 18. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, which should bring me to the next chain one space, which it does. Double crochet in that chain one space. And then we're going to double crochet to the end. I will have 13 left in the newborn size. You might have 16 in the bigger ones.
And of course that last double crochet in the top of the chain three. So let's take a look and see what this looks like. Alright, so this is the top half of the sweater. There's our split in the front. Those skipped stitches are going to be the sleeve. And those chain stitches are going to give us some space at the underarm. So let's take a quick look at the next row. Get my uh, yarn back on off my hook. I made that big loop so that I wouldn't undo anything while I was showing you what to do. So at the end of that divide sleeves and body row, we turned. Now we're going to chain three, one, two, three. Double crochet in each double crochet or chain to end of row turn. So once again, the chain three replaces that first stitch. I'm going to double crochet across until I come to the chain six for the first underarm. So when I come up to that chain six, I'm going to need to put one double crochet in each of those chains. Now, because it is not a foundation chain, I do not feel so strongly about whether you work in the back bump of the chain or in the V or front of the chain because nobody's ever going to see it because it's in the underarm and I do not particularly care about elasticity at this point. So I think I'm going to go ahead and work in the V because it's easier to see. So one, two, three, four, Oops, a little far ahead of myself here. Five. Six, and that's that last chain. And now I'm going to go ahead and work across the back. So there I have gotten my six double crochets in the underarm. Now I'm going to work across the back and when I come to the chains on the other side I'm going to go ahead and put one double in each chain so I'll have six more in this underarm and come to the end. At that point Let's go back to our sample here. So these sleeves haven't been made yet, so not look at the sleeves. So what we're doing is this. We have double crocheted across. We have gotten our double crochets in the underarm right here, gone all the way across the back, put our double crochets in the underarm here, and then worked across the front. And now from here on out, all you're doing is turn, chain three, double crochet in each double crochet across. And you're going to keep doing that until the work measures what it shows you on the schematic. Could be anywhere from five inches or 12 and a half centimeters to six and a half inches or 16 and a half centimeters, depending on what size you're making. And at that point, you can end off the yarn. So I'm going to finish my row and then let's take a look and see how to join the yarn for the sleeves. Once you have the body completed, it's time to move on to the sleeve. Now, I have not completed my whole body since this is just a swatch, but I have enough here that you can see how we're going to join for the sleeve. So what you have going on here at the underarm 
is six chains. It's the opposite side of the chain in which you worked the double crochets for the body. So we're going to join our yarn. The instructions say join in the center of the chain. So I'm going to pick, I'm going to pick this one because with six under there, it's an even number. So just one in the center will be fine. I'm going to join my yarn with a slip stitch into that chain. Tighten that up a little bit and chain three. One, two, three. Now it says double crochet in each chain or double crochet around for a total of 24 for the newborn 24 stitches. So that makes perfect sense because I had 18 on the sleeve and I added six. And so now I will have 24. So under here, let's get right up on the camera so you can see it. I'm working in the chain. It's the opposite side of the chain from the double crochets that are part of the body. And there's one more in the chain. And now I'm going to scoot over here to where the double crochets are that I skipped. And we know there's 18 in the newborn size because we skipped 18. Coming up to the end of our 18 double crochets that were on the top of the sleeve and I should have three chains left on this underarm and here they are. One, two, three. One. Two. And three is that last chain. I'm going to join the round with a slip stitch in the top of my beginning chain three. And then from here on out for the sleeve rounds, it is chain three, double crochet in each double crochet around and join at the top of the beginning chain three. And you're going to do that. You're going to repeat that round until the sleeve measures the length you need it, which could be anywhere from four and a half inches or five and a, uh, four and a half inches, 11 and a half centimeters to six inches, which is 15 centimeters. So you're just going round and round and round now. And when you get that sleeve to be as long as you need it to be, then you will end off and then do the second sleeve in the exact same manner so that they match. All right, and again, let's look at the finished sweater. So you can see where we're just crocheting round and round and round for the sleeve until we get to the bottom. And then uh, we had uh, folded it up like a little cuff for decoration, but of course, as you know, particularly with infants, they grow so quickly, so you might want it folded up to begin with, but you may not later on. 
So once your body and your sleeves, both sleeves have been done, this is terrific because now there's no finishing, there's no sewing up to do. You're going to single crochet on the button band and the button hole band. And all you're doing there is working in rows up and down the fronts of the sweater. And there is only one buttonhole because there's only one button at the top. So the button band and the buttonhole band are crocheted very similarly. It's just the one size has the little buttonhole. And then you weave in all those ends, sew on your little button, and your sweater is complete. Now if you want to complete the set, it's easy to make the hat. The hat is started in the center and worked in rounds from the center out. Uh, so a few rounds of increases and then just working even until it gets to be the length that you need it to get. Then you would end off the yarn. And then next you make the little ears, if you so desire. And those are made, the foundation chain is actually up here at the top. Your chain is here and you work around both sides of the chain and then work down in rounds. When you're finished with the ears, you can sew those on with a tapestry needle. So thank you so much for joining us for the crochet baby jacket set. I hope you have a terrific time making it, showering your friends with baby gifts and learning about raglan shaping in the process. Thanks so much for joining us here on yarnspirations.com. I look forward to seeing you again soon.